All right, so one of the common issues that I hear a lot of men, I'm gonna use the word complain about or be frustrated by, is the idea that women friend zone good men, all right? And men in general, but typically it's happening to those really good guys. And it's frustrating, especially when you see this woman go on to be with a man who isn't so good or maybe labeled a bad boy, or whatever the case may be. And so I think there's, there's some things we need to clear up to help you avoid ending up in that friend zone by understanding what got you there in the first place. And then that will help you to potentially get out of it. All right, now I'm gonna be real. Some of y'all, you're never gonna get out. Not with that specific woman. And sometimes we just have to accept she's just not the one for us, all right? And that means there's someone better that we will be happier with. But for you to have a better understanding of if you have a, a chance to get out, I want you to be mindful of, few, of a few things. So I think the number one reason why a woman potentially the number one reason why a woman friend zones a man and it really happens on both sides why men do it to women is because the attraction the physical and sexual attraction is not strong enough all right so someone can think you're a decent looking guy or even a good looking guy but not be attracted to you not be drawn to you that that sexual desire is not there with you and it's, an, it's understandable why they would not want to then try to be in a relationship with you because essentially romantic relationships, the missing ingredient that goes from friendship to romantic is attraction. And it's the same way that people can go from romantic to basically acting like two roommates because they lost an attraction to each other. So we can't ignore that important piece of the puzzle, so to speak. Now, the reason why it's so important for a man to understand this is because what I have seen is when a man gets caught in the friend zone, he may think, okay, well, if I just treat her this way and show her the good man that I am and how much I care about her, do all these wonderful things, then she'll realize I'm the guy for her, right? And I'll, and I'll find my way out of this friend zone. She'll give me a shot. But the reality is that she already knows you're a great guy. She already knows all the wonderful things you're capable of. That's why she cares about you. That's why she enjoys having you in her life. And that's why for some, she does not want you to leave her life at all. The problem is attraction. So if you actually want to get out of that friend zone, your best bet is to work on your physical presentation. Now, certain things you can't control. So let's just say, for example, uh, you, you're, you're, the woman who's your friend, she considers you to be too short, all right? That's not, that's not something you can change. That's, that's something you have to accept. It is what it is. And again, if she doesn't appreciate you despite your height, so be it. Someone else will. If there's certain aspects about you that are not under your control, I would not want you to dwell on it, feel bad about it, stress yourself about it because it's pointless. It's not going to change don't worry about it. However, if where you're struggling is your style, the way that you dress, that can be corrected. If what you're struggling with is your weight and being very out of shape, that's something that you can correct. So there's a lot of easy ways for you, not easy, but there's a lot of uh, areas that you can attack that will allow you to improve the level of attraction. Now, you may be wondering, well, how will I know which aspect is a concern for her? Now, believe it or not, you could simply ask her friend, say, hey, what do you think would uh, make me more attractive as a man? And she will gladly give you the rundown. And you can just take those notes and then without making it known to her that it's your mission to work on these things so that she will see you in a different light, just go do it, right? By you transforming into that better version of yourself and raising your physical attraction, that will be the key that can now make her think, dang, maybe I, I should reconsider this. Maybe there is something there. She'll start to see things very differently. If you don't want to ask her, asking any woman can still be helpful. Granted, it may not pinpoint the exact things that she's looking at, but in most situations, the areas that we need to improve tend to be universal, all right? So even if 
For example, let's say it's your style, the way that you dress, the way that you present yourself. Though different women like different things, the simple fact that what, what's currently that, what you're currently doing is not working for you, most women will be able to identify, plain and simple. All right, so you at least know, okay, this is not where it should be. Let me figure out what would work more in my favor. And here's a hint. Even if you don't know specifically what your friend would be, would like and would be looking for, if whatever you're able to add to your repertoire makes you more desirable to more women in general, you will become more desirable to your friend. Plain and simple. And again, I'm not saying it's a guarantee automatic, but it will raise the chances significantly because we all know what women take notice when other women are noticing that man. So when you start to become that desirable man, yes, that will make her think twice. So folk, it doesn't mean don't do the nice things, don't, don't still be that great friend, but understand that taking that up a notch is not the key. Focusing on your physical presentation and your physical attraction will do much more for you. All right, so now here's another reason why women uh, keep a man in the friend zone or put a man in the friend zone. And it's because she feels emotionally safer with you as her friend. Now, I don't want every man who's in the friend zone to assume this is applying to them, but I don't want to ignore a real thing that happens. There are many situations where the woman actually does have strong feelings for her friend. She cares about him, she loves him, she finds him attractive, that's all there. But the idea of having to be in a relationship with him scares her. Not because of anything that you're doing or not doing, but because of what she has been through already in her life. So her own traumas, her own lack of healing is blocking her from being willing to cross that line with you. Because to the woman who has been through a lot of disappointment and heartbreak, she will start to process it as, if I make this man, my friend, my man now, and it falls apart, and, and in her mind, these relationships are almost inevitably going to go south at some point, now I lost my best friend and my man. And that is too devastating to have to go through. So it's easier if I keep my best friend as my best friend, because best friends in people's minds are forever. I'll always have you there. It's safer. It's a security blanket. It's easier. Plus, I don't have to make myself emotionally vulnerable at that level to be with you. All right, because you're my friend rather than my boyfriend, my man, my husband. Now, here's what those dynamics tend to lead to, which is very frustrating when you're that man in the friend zone. A lot of times that woman, she gets with a man who is of lower quality or not really best for her, or, and doesn't satisfy her in certain ways because she can tolerate that man's lack in those areas because she's fulfilled in those areas by you or by that male friend, okay? And so it creates this balance, it creates this whole unit. Together they make a whole man and she can be happy with that even though he has all these shortcomings. So you're looking at it like, yo, why are you still with this dude? He's trash, right? And at least trash when it comes to being with her, but part of it is because she still has you there. And, and, and here's what's crazy. If you walked out of her life, that relationship she has with that man would probably end very soon. Because now she wouldn't have that buffer. She wouldn't have that thing that balances it out. Now his shortcomings become more glaring, all right? And I'll, I'll speak a little bit more on the, if you should or should not walk out of her life. But I just want you to understand the dynamic that's going on. There is that issue of it's just easier that way for her. Because again, when someone has been hurt, the last thing they want to be is extremely vulnerable. And relationships, real love requires a high level of vulnerability. And let me just, let me just give you all this one quick story of how, how crazy some of these situations are. I remember one time I had a woman, she uh, emailed me and she was like, I need your help. I'm like, what's going on? She was like, 
my best friend just got married two weeks ago. I'm like, oh, why is that a problem? She's like, I'm in love with my best friend. And I'm like, like, how long did you know this? She's like, I've always been in love with him, but I was too afraid to do anything about it. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't know if he felt the same way, all these different things. I said, okay, so where are we at with it now? And she's like, well, she ended up like finally letting it out. And it turned out he was in love with her too. But because he thought it wasn't going anywhere and he never fully expressed himself, he just figured, all right, well, I, I want to get married. So he found some woman, got married, and now he's married, but madly in love with his best friend and she's in love with him. Very crazy situation. So again, I'm not trying to give, I don't want to give false hope to every man who's in the friend zone thinking that's your scenario. But it is a scenario that exists, and for some of you, it does apply. All right, so now piggybacking off the point I kind of just made at the end there, the third reason why a woman friend zones a man is because you're not being direct and assertive enough. So notice what the situation I just explained. Um, you know, the guy got married to somebody else, madly in love with his best friend, but he never expressed himself to her. He never directly, like I'm sure he might have dropped what he felt was hints and things of that nature. He might have felt like, well, I do all these things for her. Why wouldn't she know that I'm into her? But to my understanding, he was never clear about it. All right. And so unfortunately, a lot of men in trying to be very careful and trying to handle the situation very delicately, they're not taking a very head on approach with expressing their desire for that woman. And part of the reason why is because there's the fear of if I tell her how she feels and she doesn't feel the same way, now I lose her. But the thing is this, if you desire her as your woman and by speaking on it, you will lose her as your friend. Like, are you really going to be happy for the rest of your life with this woman just as your friend? So, and what happens to a lot of guys is they say nothing, but they remain in this very state of torture by being in the friend zone. Like it's, it's one thing for a guy to be in the friend zone with a woman that he just would love to sleep with, but you know, he hasn't had an opportunity with. I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying that's just a real situation. That's not really a hurtful thing. That's not a problem. But to be in love with the woman, to really feel like this could be the one for me, and then you have to sit there on the sideline as her friend, yo, that, that's hurting you more than anything. It's hurting you because you can't have what you truly desire. It's hurting you because if she isn't for you and you're not being clear, you're not getting to see right away that this isn't gonna go anywhere for sure, right? Which then is impeding your progress in your life in other areas or potentially with the woman who could be for you and make you very happy. So to me, there's, you're not doing yourself any favors by not being clear and direct, even if it means that, yes, it could lead to your, you no longer being this woman's friend. But again, if you are secretly in love with this woman, is it really a friendship to begin with? It's this weird dynamic where, yeah, your, your friends on paper, your friends on the surface, but when we peel back them layers, it's like, no, this, this isn't really friendship. There's more here and you're hoping for more here. And that, that also makes it harder for you to be unbiased in the way that you are a friend towards her and her situations or her dating other men. So it, it can get messy in a lot of different ways, but more importantly, it just can do a lot of disservice to you, all right? So ultimately, I think, you know, it's important to make sure, yo, you have been straightforward. You, you are being a little bit more assertive. And when we say assertive, assertive does also mean like, again, you, you can stand your ground on what you find is acceptable or not if we're not going to be able to work towards trying to be together. You know what I'm saying? You got to be honest. Now, listen, if, if you're telling me, no, it's not even that serious. I'm not in love with her. I, I like her, but I, I, I'm not really viewing it in that way. And you're truly comfortable and you can be happy as her friend, so be it. But you got to be real with yourself about how you're feeling and what's really going on here and what you can honestly handle. All right, so let's keep this moving. And now the fourth reason why a woman friend zones a man is because she doesn't feel like she's good enough for you or she feels like she's going to hurt you. So here's what I mean by that. 
the reality is that there are some, I, I'm going to be very direct here. There's some women who, they've lived a scandalous life. We're just going to call it what it is, all right? They've done things that they're not proud about. Maybe the world doesn't know. They know, right? And their view of themselves is not as high. Even though they might, some of them might say to the world, yeah, I'm proud, I'm, I'm high value, whatever the case may be. How they view themselves deep inside, they have great deep insecurities, all right? And they don't view themselves at a certain level as a woman when it comes to their value. And so they meet you, their friend, and they view you as up here. They view you as this amazing, wonderful man. And she may genuinely feel like, I am not good enough for this man. Like, why would he want to be with me? There are a lot, believe it or not. And again, I'm not saying this is every friend zone situation, but it happens. And this is not just friend zone situations. In general, there are a lot of women who have run from men because they felt they were not good enough. You know what I'm saying? And they could not deal with that dynamic. It, it made, it, it brought out their insecurities even more. So again, it becomes easier to just be that guy's friend. So, so, so in, in friendship, she still gets to enjoy the greatness of this man, but she doesn't have to put herself in the position of vulnerability required to try to be with this man when she doesn't feel like she measures up, okay? But then on the flip side, and let's go with that scandalous past, let's say she's still scandalous. Let's say she still gets down a certain way that you just don't know about, okay? And she knows, I, I'm going to do things that's going to hurt this man. And she views you as too good. And listen, again, I've seen this dynamic on the flip side where there are dudes who are dogs, who are just, they're, they're all over the place, right? And they meet a good woman and they're like, and they really view her as, yo, this is a good woman. I don't want to hurt her. I'm not even going to do this to her. Like, I, I'm just going to leave her alone. She's, he, he views her on that high of a pedestal, I guess you can call it, so to speak. Or he just, he views her in that high of a regard. So women can do the same thing as, as well. And they just feel like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna do damage to this man. I'm, they know internally they are not a healthy person. And they view you as such, or they view you as innocent. They view you as a harmful person. They view you as naive, naive, not in a bad way, naive in a sense that, yo, like you're pure, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they view themselves as tainted. And again, no one's going to walk around saying that out loud. So don't expect people to just announce that. But people harbor those feelings, harbor those perceptions. And then it guides them in the decisions that they make. And one of those decisions for some situations is, nah, I, I'll keep them as the friend. And that way, I don't have to expose my deeper self. Like, oh, so if she's scandalous, if she's tainted, she's whatever she views herself. And again, I'm, I'm not saying this as how I perceive her or how someone else might perceive her. I'm saying how she perceives herself. Well, if she gets in a relationship with you, she may get exposed. She don't want to be exposed. So it's, keep her, it's easier for her to have that, that safety of, all right, there's, there's that wall in between us where we're friends, we're close, but I don't have to show that side to where now you will start to look at me different. Because that's another thing. Even though she, she may feel she's, she's tainted, whatever, she likes how you look at her in such high regard. She enjoys that. She doesn't want to lose that. And she feels like, yo, if I let him really get to know me or I let him in more as a boyfriend, as a lover, as a partner, then I'm going to lose that. I'm going to lose that the way that he views me in high regard, the way that he thinks I'm this wonderful, amazing woman, and I don't want to lose that feeling. So it, it, it definitely leads to some friend zoning. All right, so we're on to number five. I mentioned it kind of a little bit earlier, but I'm going to you know, state it again and kind of add a little bit more to it. But the fifth reason why man gets friend zoned is because you haven't become the man that other women want. So, excuse me, remember what we talked about in number one, lack of physical sexual attraction is one of the biggest reasons why a man gets friend zoned. Anyone gets friend zoned. And if you are lacking that with her, there's a very good chance, not always, but there's a very good chance that you, you lack that with a lot of women in general. All right, you're not that desirable man yet. And so 
a woman, it's, it's hard for women to want to be with a guy that no one else wants. I mean, y'all, y'all hear it all the time on the internet. Y'all, y'all already know. That's, that's a tough pill to swallow. Now, some women will swallow that pill. Some women might like that pill because it feels safer. It's like, all right, well, nobody else wants me. I got to worry about him going out here doing stuff and cheating on me and being, you know, disloyal or whatever. But a lot of women don't want that. And so you working on yourself as a man, you becoming better, more desirable. And that's the key because a lot of guys sometimes they're like, yo, okay, I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to work on me. But they're not really working on what makes them more desirable. Or at the very least, they're not creating a proper balance. So for some guys, it might be like, okay, well, I'm going to bury my head in my career so I can make money, which is great. If you want to, and please understand, not everyone has to be making over six figures. I don't believe in that. But becoming financially stable, having some level of success, that's great, right? But here's the reality. There are tons of men who have reached high pinnacles of financial success and still get no women, still struggle still will get friend zone, all right? Because money helps. Money can open doors, make money can bring some opportunities, but it doesn't automatically make you desirable. Number one, unless you're wearing your money, unless you're making your money visible, people, the average person won't even know, all right? And even though, yes, her as your friend might, not, might, now, might now know you have reached a certain level financially and that will make you more desirable in her eyes. The point here is you being desirable to women in general is going to be a stronger push for her to consider you as someone that she can be with. And so that money only goes so far. So it's like, all right, cool. Uh, Push for that success, push for that stability, but Don't ignore the other aspects that make you a more desirable man. Your physical appearance, your style, your your ability to talk to women, have conversations, you know, be an enjoyable person to be around. Because some guys, yo, they become successful. They might even get better with the way they, they dress and they present themselves, but they're miserable as hell. They're negative. So like, yeah, they'll attract the woman initially, but they can't keep no one to, or have a woman that wants to stay around because they're so, they're, they're unbearable. They're, they're difficult to deal with. Don't be that dude. And that happens to a lot of dudes who don't heal and carry that bitterness with them. And they don't realize how much they project that onto their everyday interactions and they become a less desirable man despite the desirable things they have achieved. But ultimately, not becoming that man other women want is holding you back and will keep you in the friend zone longer. All right, so let's keep it going. We got a couple more. And another reason why a woman friend zones a man is because she doesn't trust you and she feels like you will hurt her. So I think a lot of times when we think about the man that's friend zone, we automatically think about the, the guy who may be less desirable, Um, less attractive, whatever the case may be, right? But that's not always the case. Sometimes, again, it can be a desirable dude. It can be a man that other women want, but it can be that man who's running around the streets in a a way that that woman feels like, I can't trust that you're going to be a loyal, faithful man. I know how you move. I've heard the story. You told me your stories, right? And, And for her... For some women, that can make you a, 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 too much of a threat to be with. Like, yo, I, I, I don't want to set myself up. And because we know you move like this, it's like it's one thing if she didn't know. Then she can convince herself that, okay, maybe, you know, he's a great guy. This won't happen to me. I can give this a chance. And I'm not saying this to, to say that it's an automatic that that kind of man would hurt her. But that's how she's going to perceive it. And that's how friends and family would perceive it. But if no one really knows too much, then it's like, okay, they, they, it can be given a chance. But when you are known to move a certain kind of way, now it makes it hard because she has other people in her ear like, you sure you want to give him a try? You sure you can trust them? They're adding negativity to her thoughts. So even if she has a curiosity, a desire to, to push things forward, there's going to be that fear pushing her back. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. I think what's also happened is 
a lot of women in not trying to come across as clingy or needy or anything like that, they diminish how much they actually needed and wanted. And unfortunately, 